right, guys. Stellar Seller sick here. Yes, I have a cold, so I'm sorry if I sound a little funny. So just a little update on my eBay store. I now have 172 active listings. My goal for March was to hit 200. And despite whether I hit that goal or not, it is progress, and that I am happy with. So in this video, I have chosen 24 of my solds, and I am going to let you know how much I bought each item for, and you'll see a screenshot of what it sold for. And just for some added fun, I am either going to light up the screen red or green to tell you if I would buy that item to sell again or not. This is a Nintendo Switch case from the game Mario 8 Deluxe. Um, I picked it up at the bins for just a few cents. Yes, I would pick it up again because I knew it would sell, even though it's not a lot of profit. All right, so this is a Hello Kitty plush. Um, Hello Kitty is super collectible, so I knew it would sell. I don't regret that buy, and I would buy it again. I bought it for 50 cents at the Goodwill. So these are Little Tyke's Waffle Block characters. I just snagged them at the bins also one day. So yes, I would definitely buy them again because they sold pretty quick and they were very easy to ship. So this was in a lot of stuff that I got off of a Facebook Marketplace haul. I sold everything but this egg a long time ago. This little egg has been sitting around forever, but I guess it's perfect for Easter. I would not pick up this egg all by itself because I don't feel like it would have much profit to return. So I actually picked up two cycling jerseys a while back at the bins on a half-off day. They are incredibly light. The other one sold for about $20, and this one I just took an offer for. Um, they're very light. Yes, I would buy it again. Okay, so this... <coughs> This electronic dictionary by Franklin, it was a Ben's pickup too. Um, some of those can actually sell really well. I would definitely comp them all and I'd probably pick it up again because it didn't take long to sell. This VHS tape was sealed and so I definitely like to pick up sealed stuff. Especially if I can get it at the bins for a really cheap price. So yes, I would pick this particular item up again to sell. So I looked up this cow at the time, and I believe you could buy him new for around $24, $25 off of Amazon. So he took a while to sell. I don't think I would pick him up again. My cost of goods, however, was not high because I also sourced him from the bins. This is your standard Wii remote in Nunchuck. Um, it sold really, really fast. Also, the black color is more desirable than the white, but it was just a bread and butter, easy sale. I would certainly pick it up again. I sourced it for probably under $1 at the bins. This is one of those Magic Mixies toys, and if you saw one of my videos previously, I actually got this as a stuffed animal price for 50 cents at Goodwill. If I could get it for 50 cents or less again, I would definitely pick it up because I think the Magic Mixie stuff sells really well right now. I got this vintage sweatshirt for free out of a bag of stuff that somebody gave to me. So cost of goods was nothing and the return was pretty good. I think I would probably pick it up again as if I could get it cheap. This is a Disney Store exclusive Oswald the Lucky Rabbit plush. I picked him up at the bins for under a dollar, probably under 50 cents. He sold within two days, so I for sure will be picking this guy up again if I see him. I picked up this awesome shirt at Goodwill for a dollar fifty. It was new with tags. I found it on a website selling new for about $30, so I took a bit of a gamble trying to sell this for $27 plus shipping, but it actually sold really quickly, so I don't regret it at all. I would definitely sell it again. So I have a tendency to pick up beat up purses at the bins, and I try to bring them home and fix them the best I can, and then I list them on eBay on an auction, including, of course, the flaws that are still there. So this one cost me less than a dollar at the bins, and I'm going to keep doing this because it seems to work well for me. 
So I picked up this Lily Pulitzer dress at the bins. It was ultra light, 100% silk. However, it did have some staining toward the bottom of the dress, which I disclosed, and I finally accepted an offer for $29.99. I would definitely pick up this brand again. So I picked up these Sam Edelman heels for $6.25 at my local Goodwill. They're my first pair of Sam Edelman heels, so I'm still getting used to how much I can sell them for. These were a beautiful pair. I thought they would sell for more, and maybe they would have if I waited for the right buyer, but I just accepted an offer of $30. I've already picked up more Sam Edelman and intend to do so in the future. So this baseball glove I sourced from the bins. It was heavier, so I probably paid about $2 on it. Now I did comp this specific one before buying it, and that's exactly what I would do in the future. So selling baseball equipment, especially at this time of the season, is probably a great idea. So this was a very light pickup at the bins. Um, I knew it was probably vintage, so even though I didn't know a lot about the item at the time, I just went ahead and grabbed it. So it ended up being a World War II hatchet holder, which is pretty nifty. And so I put it on auction and I took a best offer from this guy who you can see was very appreciative by his note that he left for me. I would definitely pick this up again. So if you saw my recent videos, you probably saw where I sourced her from the Goodwill for 50 cents with tags, a 2015 Rainbow Bright doll. So I thought that I might be listing her too high, but it turns out I was not, probably because she was new with tags. She sold within two days. I would definitely pick her up again. So I certainly comped this DVD before I grabbed it at the bins just to make sure that it was a good seller, and some of them had sold for over the $35 that I got. So I knew it was a good pickup. It hardly cost me a thing at the bend, and I most certainly would pick it up again. So I sourced this Brother label maker at the bins. I was able to find an extra thing of tape, and it had its cord, so it was really in perfect condition. And I thought I had scored a home run, but when I got home and looked at the comps, they were not that great at all. Since mine was in such great condition, though, I just listed it on the higher side, and it just sold the other day, so it didn't take that long to sell. I'm really not sure, though, that I would pick up this particular model again. This was a J. Crew pea coat that I found at the bins. It caught my eye because of its pretty color. I actually got it at the bins back before Christmas, thinking that it would sell for Christmas time. I had so many lower awful off bleh, offers and people watching it for months. Finally, somebody just grabbed it the other way day and bought it. Do I think it was a great flip? Yes, I do, if you're into that sort of thing. But I did not enjoy selling a coat and doing measurements and having so many questions to answer on eBay. So I personally would not sell this again. So this was at Ben's pickup where I picked up the robot, the charger, and the cubes, all for probably like $2 at the Ben's. I already sold the cubes, the charger has not sold yet, and the robot sold the other day, even missing his treads, which I disclosed in the description. I would pick up this robot and his parts any day of the week. It's a great seller. So in my YouTube video just the other day, I was talking about how this item right here, I paid $15 for. I paid the most for this than I've paid for any item that I have sourced so far. So I priced it based on comparable listings because like, I could not find any solds. And I was just really going to accept any offer that fell between 90 and my asking price, which was like 175. So somebody offered me 135 and that was a great return. Very happy with this sale, would definitely buy again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Also, if you would like to subscribe, I try to release a sold video every couple of weeks, as well as a video on my bins and Goodwill hauls, and I also do some research videos as well. So, thanks for watching, guys!